I wonder why such a small and remote psychiatric hospital needs a doorman, especially since there is no parking available here. Good afternoon. I'm looking for the sanatorium under the palms. Am I in the right place? Good afternoon to you, too. Yes, as far as the name is concerned, you're in the right place. As far as the name is concerned? Well, it's the same with institutions as it is with political parties. The name isn't always the main concern. How come? There are a bunch of palm trees here, aren't there? Sure, there are palm trees here. But let's leave it at that. I have already said too much. How can I help you? Oh, come on. What's going on here? What isn't right? Nothing. I mean everything. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. What do you want? That's a shame. I'm looking for a man named Manuel Perez. He's supposedly a patient here. Ah, yes. Could be. I don't know the patients. Go to reception on the left side. I'm sure someone can help you there. And if I can offer you a word of advice, be careful. What? Why? Just because. You look like you could use the warning. But be that as it may, I have to go back to my painting. Good luck. You paint during your shift? Yeah, sure. If there's nothing to do, I paint a couple of pictures. Some of them are then hung up in the clinic. Is there really that little to do? What do you think? We don't exactly have concerts or events where thousands of people line up the night before. I've been working here for two years, and you are... If I haven't miscounted, you are the third visitor. Oh. What do you usually paint? Everything, really. Although, if I have to be honest, everything isn't necessarily a lot. At some point, you just run out of ideas when you can only paint from one position. So far, I've painted lots of palm trees, blades of grass, and even butterflies in various positions. I'm starting to get sick of it. I paint extra slow, you know. I used to paint a picture in 30 minutes. Now I take 30 hours just to postpone the problem of choosing the next subject for the picture. Well, then I wish you... What should I wish for? Wish that we have a thunderstorm. Maybe some of the palm trees will fall down, and then I would have something new to paint. Okay. Then I wish you have a thunderstorm. Thanks. And if you happen to run across a great idea, then please let me know. A little while ago, you said that something wasn't right with this institution. Me? No, I never said that. But... The weather is beautiful today, isn't it? Yes, it's gorgeous. I understand. I'll leave you alone with your muse now. Thanks. I'm still waiting for the kiss. From me or from the muse? Both. No wonder that many men harbor fantasies about nurses. There is a whole assortment of specialist journals from the Faculty of Definitive Relativity. I'll just take one of them with me. The selection is done according to the proven method of random chance. Good afternoon. Hello. I'm looking for a man named Perez. Manuel Perez. He's supposed to be a patient here. May I speak with him? Perez? Yeah, he's here. And who are you? I am Nina Ca... Nina Castro. I think it would be better if I did not tell the whole world my name. As long as I don't know who's behind my father's kidnapping, it's better to be too careful than not enough. Sorry, you can't come in here without a special permit. But it's really important. Important? It's really important for me to keep my job and my health. And naturally, my incomparable good looks. That's what's really important. I'm not asking you to release him. I just want to talk to him for a second. Listen up, darling. Now that Mr. Gartuso has the say, and Nicole Charlois was put in charge, we all have to really watch ourselves. Massimo Gartuso? The American billionaire with a gigantic mobile phone company? That's the one. And in Cuba, the saying goes, whoever pays decides what's for dinner. Is there anything else I can do for you? The music sure is loud. Yeah, great, isn't it? I just got the disc and I've been listening to it nonstop for the last three days. It really keeps me going. It even makes it fun to clean. Actually, I wanted to be a dancer, but the market in this region is pretty saturated. So I had to invent a new discipline, rhythmic cleaning. I clean to the exact beat of the music. It also helps fight fatigue. 
I came up with it a few weeks ago and have been perfecting my technique ever since. We'll see. Maybe if politics doesn't pan out, I can maybe offer a few courses for housewives. I think the demand for it is probably pretty high. Yeah, uh, I bet it is. Massimo Cortuzo has bought himself a mental asylum in a sleepy town in Cuba. Don't you find that a bit strange? I have my own theories, but I'd rather keep them to myself. Come on, it could be really important. Nothing is so important that a person could end up like... Yes? Nothing. Don't you think rhythmic cleaning would be a great business concept? There are so many weird things happening here that I don't know where I should start being astonished. I have the feeling that it has to do with something real big. Unfortunately, my feelings do not tell me what that is. Are you afraid of your boss? Me? Why should I? I just had the impression. It's misleading. It's definitely misleading. She does want to talk. All I have to do is tickle her a little bit. The boss isn't even here, so you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, that's also what Pedro thought, but then... And then? Nothing. Leave me alone. This Nicole Charleroi is pressuring the workers to such a degree that they are almost shitting their pants from fear. I hope I won't have to clash with her on top of everything else. You... you said something about if politics doesn't pan out, you're a politician? Not yet, and I stress the word yet. There is an election in two weeks and I want to run. As a politician? Yeah, sure. Anything against it? Uh, no, of course not. So you think you have a good chance? Yes, I think so. I am staggeringly gorgeous, and I have already, let's just say, convinced 20% of the voters. Oh, but I don't want to be just one of many. I want to be the next female mayor. Unfortunately, I still need some more votes for that, but I'll get them. If only I knew how to get them. Oh, you want to jump straight to being the mayor. How modest. What's your election platform? Platform? No one reads it anyway. The only problem is that I just have two weeks and I'm still behind 120 men. Yeah, that's putting it close. Maybe you should try getting a platform after all. Oh, it's much too expensive and no one is interested anyway. I just have to be able to convince more people all at once and my qualifications is all. You mean... Yeah, well, do you have a better idea? I'll think about it. If I think of something, I'll let you know. Then I'll leave you to your hip swing again. They must have four to five diopters. The owner must be as blind as a bat and be bumping into everything at the moment. The latest record by Toptic is on there. What a cool tune. Our Latin beauty probably would not be particularly happy if I simply turn her music off. He makes a curious impression with his teddy bear shirt. I don't know why, but he really scares me. A copier. In order to get to there, I would have to go through the house of cards, and then there would be a slaughter here. Hello. That's a nice house of cards you're building there. Yeah. And now be quiet or the thing will fall again. This institution gives us somewhat, well, strange impression. Was it always like that? Could you tell me a bit about it? Maybe you've noted something in particular. Sure I can, but I won't. Otherwise I'll end up like, oh, it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. Otherwise you'll end up like who? Just like people who ask too many questions. Can I borrow the copier for a second? Sure. Bring down my house of cards, steal my glory, my pride, my last bit of self-respect. The spark of hope in my dreary routine, the little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll just wait until you're finished. Nicole Charleroi. She's the director of the Institute here, right? Is, is, is she here? No, I don't think so. Whew. Don't scare me like that again. Are you afraid of her? Me? No, no, of course not. Shay was also never afraid. On the other hand, Shay also never had anything to do with psychopathic scientists. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. 
you look pretty determined. Are you getting money for this house of cards? Money? No, not money. Glory. I'll be like my ancestors and go down in history. As a house of cards builder? Yes. Shay started the same way. Shay? Shay Guevara? No. Chevrolet. Okay, okay, I understand. I'm going. Okay. I have to hurry anyway before the earthquake starts again. Earthquake? Yeah, every afternoon. Just before I finish the tallest house of cards in the world, an earthquake comes and ruins everything again. But this time, I'll make it. Watch out that your house of cards doesn't fall down. Yeah, make sure you don't bring down my house of cards. Only the staff is allowed in here. He's just taking a break, completely atypical of a construction worker. It's full of dirty laundry. Laundry service. Next pickup, Tuesday, 2.30 p.m. Hello? Are you a member of the staff? Me? No. Heaven forbid. I'm here to repave the courtyard with asphalt. But to do that, I have to re remove the old asphalt first. It's terribly hard work in this heat. I can tell you that. I can imagine. By the way, I'm Nina. Pleased to meet you. I'm B Bernard. Why is the courtyard being repaved? It still looks good. I've seen streets at home that look much worse. No idea. You're right, though. It really isn't w worthwhile for just a couple of patients. Whatever. I don't really care. Who hired you? Some Italian-American, Massimo Gattuso or something like that. Massimo Gattuso? Yes. He wants the courtyard to be finished in three days. It's completely unrealistic. But you don't know why this courtyard is supposed to be repaved? No. Strange. How come someone like Massimo Gartuzzo has the rear yard of a net house in a Cuban hick town surfaced with asphalt? Did you notice anything unusual about the Institute? What do you mean by unusual? A couple of menly challenge and a couple of doctors in a narrow room? At some point, it's difficult to differentiate between doctors and patients. I feel the same way about dog owners, but did you notice anything unusual? Apart from the fact that one of them is always screaming, screeching, or makes strange n noises, truth be told, the Institute scares me a little. Can you describe it a little more? I, I don't know exactly. I just don't like it here. As soon as it gets dark, I make sure that I leave. And there isn't enough money in the world to get me to go in there. Someone like him, admitting just like that, that he is afraid, without having a real reason for it? I should be cautious if I want to continue looking around here. Regarding your break... Are you gonna d deny me my break? Oh no, of course not. G good It's short enough as it is. The old lady will start smoking again soon, and then my work starts again. Uh, what do you mean? The cook. As soon as I see Black coming out of the ch chimney back there again, I have to go back to work. Smoke as a signal to get back to work? That somehow seems familiar to me. Don't you have a watch? No, nah, I don't need one. The old lady is accurate down to the last second. Does the name Nicole Charlera mean anything to you? Not really. She's supposed to be the boss here. You must know her. Oh, her. Oh, c God. Keep her away from me. That bad? Worse. She seems nice at first, but she's something between a Valkyrie and a battle axe. Charming. You asked me. Am I supposed to lie to you? 
No. Have you gotten to know her? B believe me. It only takes a few seconds, and that's enough for me. Do you know a man named Manuel Perez? Who's that? One of the people inside. A patient? Yes. No idea. I haven't had any contact with them. It's prohibited by the management. You have a, um, a bit of a stutter. Am I correct to assume that it's caused by a childhood trauma? Or did your first girlfriend disappoint you? What tragic story is behind it? Have you ever worked ten hours with a jackhammer and then tried to speak halfway normal? Oh, no. Not that I know of. I th thought so. Otherwise, you wouldn't ask a question like that. Well, then enjoy the rest of your break. I will. There are huge notches in it. It looks like somebody wildly attacked it with an axe. I hope I don't meet this someone. Small brass weights. A long pointed meat fork. A braided onion rope. Sausage tongs. A relatively small kitchen. It's obvious this hospital does not have all that many patients. Either that, or they are all on a diet. I'll pile the pieces of wood like I would have learned in the Girl Scouts, had I joined them. I knew that these kinds of pseudo-magazines could help in many situations. It is really astonishing how the old tricks continue to work again and again. Hard at work, I see. Well, anyone who works so hard is allowed to take a b b break once in a while. You're entitled. Isn't your break done? No, why? I thought as soon as smoke comes out of the chimney... If it's white smoke, that means the cook's still cooking. If it's black smoke, that the food is finished. And so is my break. Oh. Well, then enjoy the rest of your break. I will. Hello. What's your muse up to? Something that all women do. Taking her time. The woman in charge. What is she really like? Miss Charleroi? No idea. I don't have any contact with her. She greets me when she arrives in the morning. I usually don't see her at night because she often stays in the institute until really late. Any peculiarities? Like I said, I almost never see her. Nurse Sabrina, what do you think of her? If I would tell you, you would say I was sexist. <laughs> yes, her assets are apparently very apparent. And otherwise? Otherwise, I unfortunately don't know her very well. Women of her caliber don't mess around with average-looking gatekeepers. You just have to convince her of your qualities. And those would be? Well, um, uh... Yeah, thanks for the chat. Could you perhaps paint a portrait of Nurse Sabrina? Yeah, I guess so. Just a second. I've run out of black. I can't paint without black. Okay, I'll take care of it. How long do you need? Probably half a day. You have 30 minutes. There's no way. I need at least three hours. Agreed. You have one hour. 
It's no wonder that contemporary painters have never been able to equal the masters if the artists are constantly rushed like this. Oh, one more thing. I can barely see Nurse Sabrina from here. She moves so gracefully, but she is also unbelievably fast. If she were to slow down a bit for a while... I'm going to see if I can at least temporarily control the woman's hyperactivity somewhat. I'll leave you alone with your muse now. Thanks. I'm still waiting for the kiss. From me or from the muse? Both. The record turns more slowly due to the weight. Still, sounds pretty good. Hello, what's your muse up to? Something that all women do, taking her time. Then you could start painting the portrait? Like I said, I can only paint Nurse Sabrina if I have black paint and a subject that isn't constantly jumping around. I'll leave you alone with your muse now. Thanks. I'm still waiting for the kiss. For Both. I think I will have to pull the coals out of the fire. I didn't find any black paint. Do you think a piece of coal will work too? Yes. Coal should work too. Do you have everything you need for the portrait now? Yes, I think so. She's a little hard to see from here, but I'll try. It looks great, considering it was painted in 60 minutes. I think I've outdone myself again. Don't you think? Yes, it's really nice. And her best features are emphasized perfectly. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. I'll put the masterpiece in a bag for you so it doesn't get dirty. I'll leave you alone with your muse now. Thanks. I'm still waiting for the kiss. Both. Look at this. What do you think? Oh, that's pretty. And the woman is a knockout. Oh, that's me. Oh, I always knew I was pretty, but so stunning. Yeah, and so modest. I thought you could use it as a campaign poster. Yeah, great idea. But one isn't enough, is it? Women, give them a hand and they'll rip off the whole arm. If I help you out with a few more pictures, you have to help me too, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. And I also promise no new taxes. Exactly. And no one wants to build a wall. I can already see you could make a really good politician. I'll see if I can come up with a few more campaign posters. Then I'll leave you to your hip swing again. No! The earthquake has begun. Nina, sometimes you are really bad. The vibrations caused by the jackhammer cause the house of cards to collapse. The poor guy will surely need them for his next attempt at the record. He is so cute! I used up all the copier paper. That should be enough for a campaign to cover all of Cuba.
Here are the campaign posters. There's no longer anything standing in the way of your political career. Beautiful, simply beautiful. Who could resist this woman? No one. Help me now. Sure, I've given you my word as a politician, haven't I? Will you help me anyway? Fine, just this once, but watch out for Ramon. He's the caretaker here, and if he finds you, he'll make mincemeat out of you. So hurry. Perez's cell is all the way at the end on the left.